home base tutorial for beginners how to use home base to run your small business and manage your work schedule time clocks payrolls and hr to get more productive and creative hi guys welcome back today i'm going to be giving you a tutorial on home base how we can use home base for team communication manage your team track our time and hr payrolls and more so let's get started with the process first of all you will have to sign up for home base and to sign up you can click on get started option available on the website simply go to homebase.com and you will get right here now you have to select do you own your own manage your own business you're just an employee so i'm just going to go with manage my own business and now to create an account i will have to enter my full name and then we have to enter our email password and a mobile number once you enter your information uh, you will enter your company name in this case i'm just gonna write in zinho and then we have company zip code so it's optional but i'm just gonna type in you have to select your industry what industry you are in select your team members and click on continue once you enter your personal information, then we have what brings you to home base. So I want scheduling, time tracking, payroll, and we can go with field of employees and managers. I'm going to click on continue. You will select what you want to do. What else you want to do? Well, we have health and safety, communication, availability, and HR. Click on continue. And now it will just take a few seconds to set up your home base and then we're good to go. So this is our dashboard right here on home base uh, let me show you around the main dashboard contains this menu right here we have manage we have schedule timesheet payroll team hiring manager log report safety and setting so i can schedule my meeting and i can schedule my work of course we have timesheets payroll team hiring everything uh, let's you know check out all of these different options one by one let's go to schedule first and let me show you how you can schedule a task and how you can schedule a meeting using home base so here i can create my own schedule and what i can do is you can see we have our own week so first of all i can go for a daily view or monthly so if i want to create a schedule for a month i can go to a monthly view or if i want to schedule it for a week then i can just select week then we have employee view like if you want to create a schedule according to different employees that what employee will be doing this work or that work you can just you know get an employee view and then we have other views as well such as we have role view and department view what we do is we first add an employee so click on add employee section and add an employee individually add their first name so i will be adding work for ben so i'm going to add first name then we have the last name next we have to enter their contact information and email address so this in this case i will be going with email address then we have access level so if it's an employee manager or general manager we can select an access so i'm going to select employee then we also have role what role they do are the cashier you know dishwasher and assistant manager so he is actually an assistant manager then we also have the wage so we can select the wage for them and we will be able to get an idea for hourly work you know so we have to add uh, work here and if it's an hourly work then you can go with r if you're going with yearly then you can go with year so we pay for hourly work and it's actually $30 per hour. So I'm just going to add the wage. And now all I need to do is I'm just going to go ahead and save and finish. So once I click on save and finish, you will be able to see that my new employee will be added here. And now I can schedule work for this person. What I need to do is let's say that I want to add a work for him on Monday. So I'm going to click on add section here. I can go with custom and I can select a color for him. I'm going to go with orange. And then we have Monday. The same work he will be doing till friday so i'm going to select all these dates if i want to add any shift notes i can just add them here if i want to go with a common or a custom timing i can do that as well so the timing is actually not 9 a.m it's actually 10 a.m till 3. 
okay so this is the timing now i will click on add and you will see that a brand new task will be added right here for this person and now i have actually scheduled their whole week for them and i have added their work that this is the work they will be doing similarly i can add some work for myself as well and i will be doing this work every second day so it's monday wednesday and friday Let, let's just say that uh, i can skip few days and my timing is going to be from eight till five perfect so this is how we can do and we can add a role or we can create a brand new role for ourselves so i'm going to create a brand new role and which is the ceo perfect and i can select a color for myself as well so i'm going to just like this one so that we can organize our schedule better and now you can see i have my shift and uh, i have my employees shift similarly i can add another person just the way we did we can also add bulk employees so it's not like you have to add an employee every time you can just add bulk employees if you like so this is how you will be scheduling a week on home base and then we have availability departments and roles i showed you how to create a role and then we have time sheets with time sheets what we i can do is i can add different timing for my employees and i can actually import and export time sheets from this option right here or i can download this time sheet that i have Similarly, we have payroll options. So I can not only schedule my employees, I can not only schedule a week or a month for my team, I can also manage a payroll from here. Um, then we have the team section on home base. So the team has a reserve for us, time off, documents, new hire onboarding, and HR Pro. So I can go ahead and add different team members. So I have two team members here. To add a team, you click on add team and then again, again as we added an employee it's, it's quite similar we add their first name last name contact information email address for example if i'm adding anna and then i'm just gonna add their last name then i can select their access level uh, we can also give them a role of course and i can also select their wage so you just click on add section here and you can see that a new employee and a team member is added. We can also import a team member list if we like. And then I can manage their documents, time off, and then we can manage their hiring and HR Pro. Uh, I also have the hiring section here. And in hiring, I can hire a person and I can start a new job. I can create a new job here on home base. So how to create your own new job here? So we already have like assistant manager, barista, bartender, cashier, cook. But let's say that I'm not industry. I don't have cook or I don't have cashier or bartender. So I will be creating my own jobs, right? So just click on create your own job and you can now get your own employees from Indeed, Google Jobs and ZipRecreator. Creator. You can also go ahead and get people from Upwork, Fiverr and other LinkedIn, of course, from where we get our own employees. Uh, we have applications, interviews, career page. So home base not only allows you to schedule your team, you schedule your month, your week. It also helps you create your own team and build your own business, build your own team uh, very easily. Get your own employees using Indeed. First, you can hire people on home base and then you can assign work to them. You can manage their payrolls. You can manage their timesheets and more with just one platform, home base. So yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you and now you know how to use home base don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the youtube channel